All right, tonight, brand new video we've gotten our hands on that gives us a look into the past of a Shreveport police officer. Now accused in the death of a man in a recent officer involved shooting. Officer Alexander Tyler is charged with negligent homicide in that shooting. It happened back on February 3rd, but KSLA News 12 Stacy Cameron has been digging for answers and you've uncovered other internal investigations that have also involved Officer Tyler and you even have the dash and body cams to prove it. Doug, that's right. The Monday morning following that deadly officer involved shooting, I filed a public records request with the Shreveport Police Department and the city asking for Officer Tyler's complete personnel file and all internal affairs of investigations pertaining to him. I've learned that Tyler's been with SPD less than two years. He got sworn into the department and received his badge back in September of 2021. But in that time, according to department records that were turned over to me today, Tyler's been the subject of at least three internal affairs investigations. He was cleared in one and found to be in violation of departmental policy and two others. Now, the first internal affairs investigation arose out of an incident back in March of 2021. A woman complained that Tyler and six other officers improperly detained several minor children, questioned them without an adult present, and searched her home without a warrant. This is body camera from one of the officers during that incident. But in this case, SPD cleared Tyler and the other officers of any wrongdoing. But this is the second incident. This is police dash camera video of Tyler getting involved in a high speed chase back in July of 2022. That pursuit began near state fairgrounds, chasing a suspect who failed to stop for a modified exhaust. Tyler reaches a speed of 132 miles per hour on I-20, passes at least one car at a high rate of speed on the interstate shoulder, and eventually chases the car down Pines Road. He goes over 100 miles an hour again on another two-lane road, then continues the chase down Interstate 220, topping 130 miles an hour again. Tyler didn't catch the suspect, and a supervisor didn't tell Tyler to call the chase off, but Tyler was found to have violated SPD's pursuit policy because the suspect wasn't a present danger to human life. Tyler was written up for that incident. Now, the last incident, again, involves Tyler driving. This time, Internal Affairs investigated an accident. You see it right here in August of 2022. It was allegedly caused by Tyler speeding down Broadway in Shreveport. According to the report, Tyler was doing 63 in a 35 mile an hour zone when he hit an SUV. Two passengers in that car, plus Tyler, were taken to a local hospital. Tyler was taken out with a bloody face and he was dazed and confused when one of his fellow officers had to help him. Now, the internal affairs investigation found that Tyler violated the department's policy on professionalism for speeding. He was placed on administrative leave and suspended for 15 days without pay back in December of last year. Now, I've also learned today, digging into his past, that there's one more internal affairs incident that's not yet public. It's not a record public can look at that we can dig into yet because the process into this investigation is incomplete right now because there's potential for a criminal investigation and litigation. Back in the present moment now, Tyler was placed on administrative leave after that officer involved fatal shooting of Alonzo Bagley. He faces up to five years if convicted on the negligent homicide charge. And Doug, as we both know, Tyler's out tonight on bond. All right. Well, uh, of course, if you've missed any of Stacy's uh, Stacy's reporting on this, you can find it right now on the KSLA app. Stacy, thank you, sir.